Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk more about sheet metal rules. Let's open up the sheet metal defaults window. Here we can access the style and standards editor. Let's close this. We can also access this dialog window right from the manage tab. Here's the style editor. Let's click on that. Let's take a look at the filter on the right top of this window. We've got local styles and all styles. Have a look at the title bar here. It says library read only. Later on, we're going to talk about how we can write this to the library. The first thing we're going to do is create a new rule, but before we can do so, we need to select an existing rule. Then we've got the option to click new. Let's give it a name. One millimeter underscore SS, that's for stainless steel, and then dash K factor, KF. Let's click OK. Now let's choose our material. I'm going to scroll down and select stainless steel from this drop down menu. Thickness, I'll make one millimeter. Next, we can choose the flat pattern bend angle, as well as the flat pattern punch representation. We'll look at this second option in more detail later on. Let's go to the Bend tab of this window. From here, we choose the Bend Relief type. We choose Relief Width and Depth and so on. Let's go to the Corner Treatments tab. Here we've got options for a two-band intersection or a three-band intersection. We just choose from these drop-down menus, round, square, tier, etc. Let's go back to the Sheet tab. I'm going to specify the Unfold rule. Let's save our edits. And let's create a new rule. 